back at it here on Monday, I went ahead and sawed three boards off that timber. I pulled off each one after I sawed through it and the grain was lining up really good. So we should have some really good medullary rays here on the face of these boards. They're a four quarter, but I saw them at an inch and an eighth on the thickness. It comes out with the curve right at about five quarter, which uh, I like that thickness. That's pretty good to work with after it dries. Eight inches wide, measuring tape by the way, before I forget and lay it on the rail and knock it off with the mill. It looks really good. Got some nice rays down here on the face of it. Let's pull these three off and put them on the saw horses and take a better look at them. All right, if I can squeeze in here without knocking anything over. I know a few people have noticed on the past few videos, I'm running out of room in here in the sawmill shed. I got one stack of slabs that are ready for the kiln, the rest of them aren't. That really doesn't free up much room when I get that stack out of here. And this four quarter beach that we're sawing is going to go on top of another stack that's already maxed out. So in the next video, I'm going to talk to you guys about what we're going to do to fix this problem of not having no room to stack this wood. So uh, let's scrape the sawdust off this one. Oh yeah. Very nice. Got some really nice medullary rays right here. And I was asked in another video if there's any sapwood. And there is a little bit of sapwood on this beach. It's about an inch and a half thick here on the sides to the hardwood starts. And, uh, but it does have sapwood, but this is really nice color right here in the middle. The rays are coming through. No defects or nothing like that. This will make a really nice tabletop one day or some cabinets or something like that. That's why I went ahead and done four quarter instead of slabs. But I think this will be some really nice boards for a unique project for somebody. Maybe even for me if I ever get around to build anything. Really nice stuff here at the end. I'll bring the camera in to show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm not gonna throw water on this stuff because it doesn't really highlight these features at all. You can see it just as good straight off the sawmill. And it may be because the moisture content's so high. I don't know. This is some really high moisture content. My meter only goes up to, I think, 40%. So there's no sense in even trying to check this. It's not gonna be accurate anyways. Because with moisture meters, just to talk about moisture meters here for just a minute, they're not accurate anyway above 30%. So, uh, no sense in even checking these things, but I'm sure they're way over 30, without a doubt. I get a lot of questions over on Instagram and I post pictures of these boards. And a lot of people are always asking, why don't you leave that pith in there and just put some epoxy in there? Well, this is a great example of why you don't leave it in there. I mean, check this out. Crack, all the way down through it. This first one was sawed two days ago. This one was sawed today. It shows you right there. It's gonna crack, it's gonna bust open. It's not gonna be stable. You know, it's junk, it's juvenile wood. Get it out of here. You know, there's no sense in even leaving it in there anymore. Used to, I would actually air dry my slabs with the pith in it. But anymore, I'm just gonna start cutting it out to begin with and getting rid of it. You know, even when we cut this out, we'll still be left with 10 inch wide boards and we'll get four boards out of these two planks here. So that's pretty good. So in the future, when you think about it, if you ever wonder why I do take the pith out, just refer back to this video. Look at that. Cracking all the way down through here. Horrible, horrible stuff. That's why you get it out. No sense in leaving it in there. Not even to have a wide board. These planks are 23 inches wide. You're gonna lose some width, but you'll gain a lot better product in the end. And there's some really nice rays right here facing me. These are some nice boards. 